Welcome to the Chapel Gallery at St Matthias in Victoria, BC. We wish to acknowledge with respect the Songhees and Esquimalt nations on upon whose territory we work, we worship, we live and we play. My name is Nikki Rendell and it's a great pleasure to invite artist Andrea Spaulding and Annie Smith to talk about their work in the exhibition titled Foundations that opens today at the Chapel Gallery. Annie, could you please tell us a little bit about your beautiful charcoal drawings and your beautiful washi um, screens and a little bit about yourself, please? Thank you, Nikki. Um, I guess I'll start by saying I'm a Pandora Island artist and I work primarily with portraits and with Japanese paper. I'm really excited to be part of this show with Andrea Spalding, who is a great friend and collaborator. We love working together and find that we can often use each other's ideas to help develop our own art. Um, my portraits are charcoal. I really enjoy working with charcoal because I love the softness of it and the detail that I'm able to get. These portraits are from a series that um, reflects on relationships and foundations such as the importance of reading in our lives. Um, of course, as any artist does, I can look at my portraits and find things that I wish I'd done better. But um, one thing I'm proud of with these portraits is that I've had many people say to me that they get a sense of tenderness from the portraits. My challenge is going to be that my next series of portraits is going to be of people that I'm not so intimately involved with. And so my hope is that I will also be able to express that tenderness towards them. My love for Japanese papers shows in my series of screens that is a part of this show. Um, I have a huge collection of Japanese paper that um, comes partly from visits to Japan to see our family there. And uh, I felt inspired by the Japanese shoji screens uh, to work um, with my washi collection. Um, many people think that Japanese paper is rice paper, but that's actually incorrect. Japan has never made art paper from rice, but rather it is made from either the kozo, the gampi, or the mit mitsumata uh, plants which provide fiber from which the paper is made. Um, while I put the screens together, I was thinking about showing my appreciation for both the strength and fragility of Japanese washi. My screens have holes in them so that you can see both the screen itself and through the spaces that are left for the light to come in. Um, as Leonard Cohen said, uh, that's how the light gets in, through those cracks. Um, they're also made to float in windows with the light coming through, which really shows off the textures of the papers.
I've also chosen to include in this show four of my watercolor paintings. They are of rocks found on the different beaches on Pender. During COVID, one thing that was foundational, both for me and for other friends, was the opportunity to be out in nature and keeping our minds calm by focusing on the beauty around us. Andrea, welcome. Would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself and a little bit about your very fascinating, intricate book art? It, well, thank you, Nikki. It's a real pleasure to be here and be part of this show, Foundations. And that word foundations is such a wonderful word. And once Annie and I chose it for the show, it made my mind go in a hundred different directions. And one of the things I realized was that the foundation of my knowledge all through life has been books. And one of the things I've been horrified about in these last few years is how books have become a disposable commodity. And they're just going to the dump in truckloads. And so I decided as a mixed media artist to use books as part of my art practice. And so then looking at books that have been damaged and ready for the trash, I became really intrigued on how could I make the characters in those books come alive and make them tell a visual story. In this art piece called Inflammatory Words, I made me think about all the books in Canada that have been banned. So we have a depiction of flames coming out of the books and on some of the flames are the names of books that have been banned in Canada. The piece next to it is a the focal point of my part of the exhibition, and that's a history, because history is also a big part of my foundation. I'm fascinated with family history, and that's the history of our family Bible. And you have to come to the show and read the history because the story is there. The piece here is my childhood book of Little Women, and you see Joe coming out of the doorway with Larry in the window and Beth inside. You can see the inner room. And I chose this piece because Annie and I sometimes do quite close collaborations. And she had done this beautiful charcoal of me actually creating the piece. So we thought it might be nice to have the piece itself with the portrait. And in fact, it was this that made us, made me think that everything I should be showing here has some kind of story or foundation of books because so many of Annie's pieces were also based on people reading. And that became a big theme throughout the show. As a mixed media artist, one of the uh, elements I like using is wax as in encaustics. And encaustics is a way of using layers of wax and collage, and it gives this lovely luminous uh, effect. And so here are three uh, of a series of the Penda history that I've been working on. So here I'm honoring three Penda women, uh, Elizabeth Grimmer, uh, who birthed a baby in a rowboat in the middle of Navy Channel. And the first teacher on Penda, Fanny Hooson, who sadly was lost in the wreck of the Iroquois. So we have a name of a road on Penda named after her, but also this lovely little tombstone here where it says the child lies here because her body was never found, only that of her little boy. And then a more humorous one with the Mackenzie family at Hamilton Beach. And I couldn't get over how they had these starched and pressed white dresses when they're homesteading on Penda Island. So I had to match that with uh, three kids and the way they dress on the beach today. Thank you, Annie and Andrea, for such a warm introduction to your art. It's been such a pleasure for both of us. Thank you, Nikki.